Hello, my beautiful people. I hope that you are doing well. As I stated, I want to figure out a way to go over the cycle of like a corporation uh, because so much in studying the rise and fall of civilizations, of great nations, of great ideas, things like that, um, we don't take a look at corporations because realistically, they've never had this kind of power before, which would lead you to believe if if they're run by humans, which they are, right? They too should have a cycle. So we're starting with this particular uh, picture because I find it absolutely fascinating. Um, one by one, if you just look at look at the power, uh, 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 all of these products, the majority of the products that are made, that are consumed in the West, are made by these small corporations, right? Or large corporations, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, G, is that General Mills? I think it is. Kellogg's, Mars, uh, I can't see that, Unilever, Johnson & Johnson, of course, right? P&G, Nestle and & Kraft. And you start getting the sense of, oh my goodness, yes, this, this could be a problem because as you know, the West is buying into this thing known as ESG, which is going to bring about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And uh, we've talked in the past that the United Nations has actually hired the World Economic Forum to help focus in and really get us there. So our, our corporations and our government are ushering in the d demise of the West. I don't know why, but I mean, I don't really agree with a lot of these companies, right? I have, you guys know, I have a huge problem with Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is the reason that Monsanto got so big in the United States of America. And there, I know I talked about it too many times, but you can go to Idaho and there is a mountain size of radioactive slag and that's just for one product right for one product so i i'm not going to cry if any of these corporations fall but the damage that's what i'm looking at the damage that will be caused now and then also not not to be outdone six six corporations six own all the media and as we know, these corporations are going along with the ESG as well. There they are. You got all these assets and I will, I will leave the links below, but I, I and I'm going to show you because this doesn't even give the bigger, big picture of everything going on. This doesn't, this looks manageable, right? This looks manageable, but I'm going to show you just one, just one of the companies and what they're really like. So let's go to which, which can't, oh, here it is. These are just the companies Disney owns. Now, look at how overwhelming this is. And this is where I wanna focus on this video and we'll talk about it more in a live stream. Let's schedule our live stream now. Um, I can't do Mondays because I've had to switch it out. So let's, let's go for Tuesday. We'll go Tuesday at 5 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Check it, this, this is terrifying. This is terrifying because what happens with all of the people, right? You've got, look at this. I want, I want to just show you one little portion and I'll leave the link so you can explore it by yourself. So this person, and this is an old map, mind you. Okay. It's out of date and I'll show you where it's out of date. So they have it. Um, it's very clever. Whoever made this, you're a very clever person. Make it really easy to understand. So they divide it up. They've got film television, music and radio, gaming. And actually gaming is one of the more important sectors in our present economy. They, they bring a lot of money. They have finance, finance, theater, uh, consumer goods. So they also have a foot in consumer goods. You've got the properties in the parks, publishing, and then digital music. Okay. You come over to Marvel, Marvel Entertainment. So under this umbrella, let's make it even a little bit better, bigger for you. What happens if this ear goes down? Think of all, all the people that work and what kind of cascading that would do. 
because you've got uh, cover concepts, you've got Marvel Worldwide Inc. You've got two, is that, that is financial, right? Yeah, financial companies, which uh, one is in the Netherlands. You've got international in the Netherlands. You've got Delaware, 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 and you can see it there. And so again, trying to tackle this rise and fall of companies is going to be quite the undertaking if we were to just look at large conglomerates because this is realistically what we're worried about is things like I, you know I'm not <laughs> I hate to say it we we it's such a, a weird statement I, I don't think that I wouldn't be upset if Disney suddenly fell but the problem with that is the damage that happens for it. So think about when all of a sudden all the farming was taken out, where the majority well, it was like 90% 90, 90 of Americans were farmers. But then, you know, progress happened. And then all of a sudden, all these people were out of work. And that's, that's what I'm thinking about when I think of the downfall. And realistically, things could happen slower, which would be better it's it's just frightening to think of how much power look at this how much power they have and oh yeah i'm glad that i pulled this down so espn is in pro in trouble right now by the way um i looked to see if they were uh, filing for bankruptcy but it says disney wants to keep espn could offload some traditional tv assets espn has announced layoffs so what we are seeing is that large corporations are starting to in their collapse phase because if you remember it, in biohistory the thing that they did have correct is that there seems to be this peak that every every country has and then all of a sudden it starts going on the decline and that's what we're gonna see and without recognizing this without seeing that this is going to happen because these big corporations have signed on to uh, the the uh, ES, ESG plan and uh, stakeholder capitalism, which we've done a video on that already, was already tried and failed, um, or they've renamed it now to the circular economy, that there are going to be issues. But knowing this, we can help the landing, right? So you want to help the landing and the best way to help the landing. So solutions right here. First off, you want to try to buy as local as possible. That is not possible with all things, obviously, right? So then, then you can go regional. And um, some people are like, well, what companies are regional? Well, you have like Maverick. So if you're in the West, you know what Maverick is. It is a gas station, it is a convenience store, um, it is regional to this area. Or uh, you have this uh, grocery store chain called Winco that is more regional and it's actually owned by the people that work there. So, uh, and then again, then if you can't do that, then, you know, work on your country. Like if, if you can buy it in your country, then so be it. And then I guess last, last, choice maybe hemisphere right so the hemisphere obviously we have no choice in where oil comes from right we we have no choice of that that's that's the government's but maybe we can push and navigate our governments to uh, go in that direction so obviously taking on disney is going to be a um, hard thing to look at but i think it is manageable just because enough people have looked at disney where there's actually information out there. That map is not up to date because again, ESPN is in trouble. And since that map was created, Disney actually acquired Fox. So that, again, that can show the differences. But this is what we have and we could start with. And I think that we could go with something smaller. I mean, obviously we know why Vine failed. P Pier 1 Imports, it's interesting about Pier 1 Imports is, is that um, they actually were buying these uh, designer chairs that this communist commune, right, a functional 
communist commune of, I think it was maybe like a hundred people um, that had really, really strict uh, control over procreation and bringing new people in. Um, that made that communist uh, group collapse when Pier 1 Imports collapsed. Uh, Pier 1 Imports was too expensive. Let's, ju let's just be honest. They were too expensive for modern day society. Um, borders. The Weinstein Company Entertainment, I think we know why they failed, right? <laughs> Ringing Brothers, which is interesting because they lasted over 150 years. So maybe maybe I should look at the rise and fall of Ringling Brothers because that would actually be a little bit more entertaining and interesting, right? Uh, we have Sports Authority. That would be interesting to see. We know that Theranos was a scam. That's why they failed. Gawker is interesting, but that's media. I mean, that that is bound to change. Uh, we we know that. Uh, what did we have here? Oh yeah, Solyndra. Uh, another another scam. Dress Barn is interesting. A M P Supermarket. This this I want to look at this one for sure. Because look, they were founded in 1859, and then they collapsed. They collapsed. I don't know anything about it. Movie Pass. That was a first attempt at subscriptions, right? So you you buy a subscription to watch movies, you get endless pass, but it, that doesn't work out because when you have blockbusters, you're you're kind of not able to go and see them. Oh, you have to pay extra money. So what's the point of joining the club? Uh, models, I don't even know. Oh, sporting goods. <laughs> That's probably sad. That's two sporting goods stores. Probably because people aren't getting out and playing enough. Uh, we have Tivana, which is like Starbucks tried to do it. So it, now Starbucks is coffee. I guess Tivana was just tea, right? Only tea. I think that's cool, but maybe, uh, you know, how much tea can you have? Toys R Us. Um, I wasn't sad when Toys R Us failed because they were um, highly monopolistic. Uh, they would sue their competition. Uh, they'd make it so uh, if you were a toy manufacturer, you couldn't go and sell to like Walmart or Target and things like that. Um, so I, I, I was glad that Toys R Us fell. Um, it's surprising how cutthroat the business world really is. Um, I lost great respect for the company Barbie um, a long time ago when I watched a documentary on how ruthless Barbie is and how territorial and how they took out, they, they take out competition. So it's like once a corporation gets so big, they tend to take out cor uh, competition, which defeats the point of why they became big in the first place by having a free market but once they get on top hell no it's not for us anymore we're, we're going to make sure that it's not for us what well, what else do we have alta motors uh virtu american apparel i didn't know that they went out of business and they when did they go out of business huh compact lubies uh Bed Bath & Beyond, that's not on here. Jawbone, I have no idea what that is. Palm. See, a lot of these were tech bubbles. Uh, retail and luxury. Henry Bindel. I've never heard of that. Founded in 1895, it was retail and luxury. Huh, that's interesting. Blockbusters, kind of sad. That one is sad that they failed because Blockbusters, it was, it was fun. Lord & Taylor, 1826 department stores. And um, we're seeing that more and more. You're going to see a lot of department stores um, start failing. Um, we saw it escalated, obviously, during the lockdowns. Um, it really did take out a lot of uh, competition. And in doing that, it set corporations up for failure, especially in light of the fact that it doesn't even seem like corporations are thinking for themselves. They just hire consultants and think that these consultants are gods and um, they're being deliberately set up to fail. So if I have time to research the rise and fall of Ringling Brothers, I will buy the live stream because I find that so fascinating. The um, history of those type of, of entertainment facilities 
it just it's it's so strange because it's it it seems like it's so far in the past but all of, the majority of us are old enough to remember going to these type of events and and seeing humans being pushed to their capacity and what i believe is is that originally shows like that were started to sell elixirs right to sell the snake oil um, but I'm not sure, so I, I'm, I don't want to really put that out there. But yeah, I it, it's kind of, you would think, isn't, like Cirque du Soleil, like they're still around, right? Because of Las Vegas. I wonder if the Ringling Brothers, if they had like transitioned, and maybe that's the problem is, is that um, corporations that failed in the past, or companies, small companies, they they couldn't they didn't take on the transition like so old news right they didn't take on the transition so now you have companies that are in the mindset of well this is the new way moving forward they're good for we must transition in order to survive but at this time this transition is actually not the way to go and it might be just something like that because as has been stated so many times never never attribute uh, that which, never attribute evil that which can be explained by stupidity. And um, as we know, the universities have been taken over. Um, they're not teaching anymore. The public school system has failed the children in so many ways. And it could be just that they don't know what they're doing. And if you look at like even the government, wasn't there like a scandal? There was a scandal like maybe four four years ago, where uh, people that were in like Congress weren't even writing their own bills. They were like having a company do it for them. It's almost as if that everybody everybody has been trained helplessness, and they just want someone else to do the job for them, but take the credit. And, and that in of itself is terrifying because that means that the the fall is going to be that much harder. So, but I am still hopeful. Again, remember, there are solutions. You just have to start small and cash is king. It's very important to buy things in cash. We cannot let the banks of all the, the dystopic nightmares to come. Digital uh, bank currencies is, is a nightmare. So try to use cash. I know it's getting harder when you go and get cash. The cash is really dirty. Um, Las Vegas doesn't have dirty cash though, which kind of makes me mad. Like they get all the clean and it's all shiny, you know, your hundred dollar bill. Um, but yeah, cash is king. Buy local. If you can't buy local, do regional. If you can't do regional, then do at least, if you can, your country. I know it's hard in other all the places, but... It's, it's the best way to help lessen the fall uh, of these huge, mighty corporations. So hope to see you at the live stream on Tuesday, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.